What is good people? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Time Crypto with me, Crypto Chris. And on this episode, I'm just going to give a quick update on where the Helium Network is in relation to the video that I put out earlier today about poor rewards and no action on the network. But before I do that, I'd just like to point out to you guys, I'm on the road to 200 subscribers. So please, if you're liking this content, could you please subscribe to my channel and help me reach my next goal of 200 subscribers? With that being said, let's start the video. So, on here, you can see on the screen, I'm not going to go into too much detail in it because A, I don't really understand it, and B, it, it's not really relevant. But what this does show is the last seven days on the Helium network of the action which has been going on. And you can see the transaction rate there. That there is where they did the new update. Again, proof of coverage, new update, which is, that's the scary part because up until they did the new update, the no witness count was so low, so, so low. It was, it, it was just a flat line across there. And then as they did the update, the, the witness uh, request count just fell off and took the place of the no witness count. And then you just see this no witness count almost mimicking the uh, re receipt count. So, yeah, it's it's concerning again proof of coverage ratio it just drops off as soon as they did that update and the, the witness count now you see this is uh, in touching on the video that i did before because other people was get saying yeah i've i've witnessed stuff etc that's where this activity is coming from um, and that's why you are seeing some activity on the network but obviously it's nowhere near like it should be so that's why people are seeing all their mining rigs and setups absolutely doing nothing and if i go to mine as you can see last activity on mine was 18 hours ago it's not doing anything so what is going on have we got a better understanding so three hours ago helium on twitter put validator operators critical update please update the latest 1.10.5 without delay and make sure configured ports are open validators that are not updated to this latest release will be impacted with decline re uh, rewards um for more details they say see the discord channel because that's where they do all their announcements and they've put an update snapshot is available to help validators so why have they put that out so because if you go on to the um helium trackers so this is one of the validators and and it's really annoying that they've put so much HNT in to be a validator, but then haven't got the the, the desire or the skill set maybe or the will to to run a validator properly. But it doesn't just affect them; it affects the the whole network where we've we've been suffering because we've not seen any action. But the most annoying part is is they've not updated their validator or done what they needed to do and opened ports, so, but. They've been putting out these beacon challenges, and every time that they put a beacon challenge out, you can see eight hours ago we're going all the way back there. They're getting no witnesses, but the annoying part is they're getting rewarded. Now, granted, they are not getting rewarded as they should do for a validator. You should see a, a lot higher return on this, but nevertheless, they're getting, they're getting all these rewards for, for not doing the job properly. So it, it's quite infuriating that it's not the only one. You can see another validator here just absolutely doing nothing for the network in terms of putting a beacon out but getting rewarded and and it's it's oh it's really infuriating it's grinding my gears to see lack of effort and dedication to the network which is affecting so so many people across the network and the reputation of the network at the moment and yet they're still picking up rewards they, they really do need to get their act into gear and this is why helium have, have put that update out because on this next tweet they put overnight the core team saw more proof of coverage failures lower rewards and stuck validators owned by validator operators that did not upgrade this is because of hotspots proof of coverage receipts gets rejected by the validators that are stuck and then it can't reconnect to another validator so basically if we get a validator that is stuck and they ask for a proof of coverage they send out a heartbeat to a beacon and we send it back if they've not done their job our receipts get rejected because they've not done their job and then our hotspot proof of coverage can't 
redirect to another validator that is doing its job correctly. That's why some um, hotspots are still seeing seeing action because they're luckily enough getting challenged off these validators that are doing their job correctly. Helium go on to say the core team is looking into fixing this in three ways. Identifying stuck validators and getting some upgrade ASAP and also considering other methods of removing them from participating in proof of coverage. So that is going back to the tweets that I showed you before. If they do not operate incorrect if they do not operate correctly and update they are potentially going to get removed from the network for the time being and they're certainly not going to carry on getting them rewards like i've just been showing you they're also trying to add logic to hotspots to reconnect to different validators via a software update so while they're trying to get all the validators correct because they need the validators online that's the annoying thing they can't just throw them off and just go well you, you, you're not doing your job properly we still need them validators otherwise this new update is never going to work so we need to get them back online as well but so it's it's a, it's a whole effort but while that's happening the ones that are up and date and running then they're going to get rewarded accordingly because they're now trying to put a logic where our hotspots will go you're a bad validator i'm going to go and find a right one and show them that i've got proof of coverage Ensure snack shops are available. This is all hands on deck for the core team and the highest priority will provide updates to the community as there are more developments. Thank you for all your patience. And then an hour ago, latest developments, validators alerted to update ASAP and taking steps on methods to remove those who aren't updated from proof of coverage participation. Logic for hotspots to reconnect to a different validator is underway. A new snapshot available for hotspots and validators. And then just an hour ago logic for hotspots to connect to a different better validator is almost done which is what i was saying once done the core team will test and make available to make us send to the hotspot fleet so basically you do not need to worry about anything you will see that your hotspot will put some packets up and you will also get rewarded for them packets but what that will mean is that there is now new logic for your hotspot to be able to go and find a correct validator and we should hopefully see our hotspots come back to life and in relation to that as well also working to increase the number of challenges per block from 400 to 1000 to make up for the lower proof of coverage rates i don't know how long that will last for um to go up to a thousand per block but basically what that means is there will be a lot more beacons for us to witness to make up for the fact that we haven't witnessed any so if there's a lot more challenges going out there's a lot more witnesses hopefully when we do see the hotspots come back to life because the validators have have sorted their acts out we're going to see a hell of a lot more activity than we would do normally so hopefully that will balance itself out a little bit it isn't fixed yet but they are aware of what is going on and they are trying their hardest to fix it it seems so yeah i just wanted to give you a quick update keep the chin up it's not there yet but again this is new technology and these things can and do happen let's just pray that the validators sort their sort themselves out they do the update the hotspots come back to life and the network roars back into life which is what i want which is what you want which is what we all want because why else would you be a watching this video or be participating in the network so yeah fingers crossed if anything more significant happens um i will do another video maybe in the morning i'll, I'll see how it transpires overnight because i'm here in the uk and i appreciate they're in san francisco so there's there's an eight hour delay so there could be a lot going on during the, the night while I'm asleep. So if anything major changes overnight, be sure to just, damn it, I will be on in the morning doing you a new update video. But yeah, that will do for this video now. If you've liked this content, please, if you could give me a like, a comment, or even better, if you could subscribe to my channel to help me reach my 200 subscribe goal, that would be really appreciated. But until next time, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.